bit of a disclaimer before I get started on this video. This is maybe the snarkiest and most obnoxious video I've made on this channel so far. If for some reason you think this video is about you, I assure you it is not. It's addressing a smaller, vocal minority that I think could maybe tone it down a bit right now. If you're subscribed to my channel and interact with people in my comments, I probably already like you. But that being said, can you guys all maybe chill out for a second? Everyone has just been rushing to the YouTubes, to the Reddits, to the Twitches, and even the Reset Eras for some reason. To all give their hottest takes on the latest developments in the From Software PvP community. For those of you who are totally out of the loop, Yasuhiro Katao, From Software's community manager for Elden Ring, was asked a question about mounted PvP in a closed door look at 16 minutes of Elden Ring footage. In response, he said this. Invaders will never invade a mounted player because players cannot be mounted in cooperative play. That is to say, you can only invade players that are cooperating, not players who are alone. He followed this up by saying that nothing was finalized though, which is in line with basically everything that Miyazaki has said about PvP, and that they're still working on it, and nothing has been finalized. For some reason, people took this response to mean, oh, that means Hidetaka Miyazaki himself must hear my solution for how to quote unquote fix PvP in Elden Ring. I'd like to instead extend an invitation for the Souls community to please, perhaps consider, shutting the fuck up. Now, I know I'm being obnoxious and facetious, but there really is some wisdom in silence. I found it very odd and reactionary that in the Fext for Life article about this closed door viewing of Elden Ring, that the author encouraged everyone reading to let Bandai Namco and From Software know what they think of this change and provide their feedback. The thing is, neither Katao nor Miyazaki has asked for your feedback. They haven't asked for your brilliant game design ideas that you and your fingerless glove, fedora wearing ass seemed so eager to provide. They haven't asked for the feedback from us PvP lifers who want stupid shit like friendly fire for PvEers or spear of the church like buffs for regular invaders. They haven't listened to any of our stupid suggestions for two reasons. One, we don't really know what we're talking about. And two, we don't really know what we want. And what do I mean by this? Well, when I say we don't really know what we're talking about, I mean we aren't really game devs working on Elden Ring. We know only a handful of details about how the entirety of the lands between functions in the game. And we haven't even seen the 16 minutes of footage that some game journalists and content creators got to see. Right now, we are operating off of incomplete, secondhand information about gameplay we've never seen from people who've never played the game. I'm hearing talk of someone thinking they saw a passive poi system active in Elden Ring because they think they saw a character face tanking hits, and personally I find that far more concerning than solo invasions not happening in the open world. God, can you imagine how terrifying that would be? A passive poi system in a game as fast or even faster than Dark Souls 3. But the thing is, I'm not freaking out about that because honestly, I'll believe it when I play the network test, and even then, even then, I'll be skeptical because these mechanics tend to be incredibly obscure and unexplained. May I remind you of the whole, they turn poise off debacle at Dark Souls 3's launch, or how long it took this community to figure out whatever the fuck Ultra Stagger is. So let's not consider Katao's answer about PvP in a vacuum, let's consider everything that we know right now. His answer was in response to a question about mounted combat in the open world. According to the account of the event from an Italian games journalist named Federico Fassetti, Katao said that one of the things that led to co-op only invasions is that they don't really want them to force the player to dismount, but then again clarified that this is not set in stone. Now, do we know whether or not this will apply to the legacy dungeons? No. Do we know if this will apply to other secret or special areas of the game? No. Do we know if there will be covenants that have an impact on PvP? No. All that we do know, at the moment, is that for right now, in the open world, we'll only be invading groups of players, and that may or may not change. That's it. Stop extrapolating. Stop talking about easy modes and game journalists and crybabies or whatever you stupid chuds love bringing up when Miyazaki dared mention that maybe this game wouldn't be as hard as Sekiro because you had way more ways to fight a boss, just like every other Souls game has had under Miyazaki. Multiple options for combat and co-op only invasions does not mean that from software has all of a sudden thrown all difficulty out the window, but you might guess that based on some people's reactions to this news. The other reason From Software isn't really going to listen to us on this subject 
is because we don't really know what we want. Saint Riot has talked about this at length, so I won't belabor the point, but basically, FromSoft shouldn't listen to the battle-hardened, ultra-sweaty PvP lifers that have stuck around Dark Souls 3 for five and a half years now. I would know. I'm one of them. We want things that would only benefit our community of PvP enthusiasts, but would be incredibly detrimental to everyone else in the fanbase. From Software has had a direction that they're trying to move towards with PvP since Bloodborne, and they're going to keep pushing that vision forward as they see fit. I fundamentally believe that games are at their best when they're following a grand, overarching vision, rather than catering to a fleeting, demanding player base that doesn't owe the devs anything, but feels like the devs owe them everything. Game development as a whole tends to work better under a united vision, and I can attest to that through my own experience in working in games. You didn't know you wanted From Software games until you played them, until you beat them. And I think you have to have a little faith in From Software that they're going to deliver an experience that you didn't know that you wanted, but will become essential. I think the best example of that lately was Sekiro. I didn't think I wanted a strictly single player game that had no weapon or character customization, no stats, and instead just a skill tree. But as it turns out, I really, really did. I also keep hearing this narrative from both the hardcore PvE, I just want uninterrupted co-op with my friends crowd as well as the Dark Souls Doomer PvP crowd. That narrative is that FromSoft doesn't care about PvP, and that someday they'll just get rid of it entirely like they did in Sekiro, because it's quote unquote laggy and forced upon people who just want to play the campaign. What's apparent to me is that this could not be further from the truth. FromSoft perhaps does not prioritize PvP over PvE very often, but they're not spending hundreds of thousands of dollars hiring network engineers because they somehow forgot to take those guys off the payroll. From Software PvP isn't some Frankenstein's monster that Yui Tanamura stealthily adds to the game in the dead of night while Hidetaka Miyazaki goes home to his family. It's something that adds to the grand narrative and feelings of these worlds. It's an agent of storytelling, letting players create their own stories within the framework of the single player and multiplayer game. FromSoft has made six games since 2009, and only one of them didn't have PvP. And that's frankly because Sekiro was not about us, the player creating our own character. It was about Sekiro, the one-armed wolf, and his narrative. Sekiro would not benefit from the addition of PvP, not just because a deflection system with latency would be absolutely horrendous, but because his narrative has nothing to do with intersecting worlds and tongue-stealing bad red men. Additionally, FromSoft constantly forces the player into situations where they have to encounter PvE just in the normal campaign. Demon Souls and Dark Souls 3 each had their own boss fights centered around PvP, that being the Old Monk and the Spears of the Church, both of which are mandatory fights for the completion of the content you purchased. Dark Souls 2 has the Mirror Knight, as well as launching with two dedicated PvP arenas. Bloodborne has the Bell Ringing Maidens and the Nightmare Frontier, which allow solo hosts to be invaded in a game where invading a solo host is almost impossible anywhere else. And Dark Souls 3 has two areas with dedicated covenants designed to force two invaders upon one solo player. From Software is constantly pushing you to participate in PvP, and I very much doubt Elden Ring will be an exception to that trend. If you need further proof that From Software are excited about PvP and its future in these games, apparently when Miyazaki was asked about PvP in an interview shortly after the Summer Games Fest trailer dropped, he apparently noticeably brightened. It seems as though nobody had asked him about PvP thus far in those many press interviews he had to give, and seemed excited that someone wanted to use their valuable interview time to ask about it. But perhaps I too am reading too much into these things. Look, I'm excited to learn as much as anyone else about Elden Ring. I cannot wait to get my hands on whatever network test we might get for this game, but above all else, it's important to remember to be patient. I actually do have a pretty strong opinion on whether or not we should be able to invade solo hosts, but frankly, I trust From Software's vision more than I think my own opinion on the matter is important. If you want an interesting, nuanced take on the situation, I'd highly recommend Fell's video on the way of blue. But outside of that, I don't really know what else can be said about the situation that hasn't already been said. If you're very worried about the co-op only invasion system, I say this to you. We're five months away from launch coming off of a Game of the Year winner in 2019 after a decade of industry-shaping games. Have a little faith in From Software. I'd say they earned it at this point. <laughs>